Hey everybody, this is just an unboxing of a KitchenAid mixer that I bought. So let's go ahead and get started. Get my trusty knife right here, cut this open. Got the other side. Oh, and just so you know, I bought this used I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a big fan of buying uh, refurbished, reconditioned, or used products at a discount rather than paying the whole price. I mean, if it's worth it and I get a significant discount and there's nothing, not too much damage, I will get a product or get something used. I mean, hell, I buy a used car. We buy a used car. We don't always buy a new car, and there's never been any issues with it. So, anyways, I always buy my products used. Let's get back to the unboxing. Get through all this plastic wrap. And I was just saying that just so you know, this is not in the original packaging. So it's just box and bubble tape. Let's go ahead and get through all this. All right. So this is a mixing paddle. Looks like for like cake batter and, you know, cake frosting, stuff like that. Anything that can be smoothed out. Let's see what else. Looks like here's a whisk attachment to his flour and sugar and stuff like that together. All right. All right, let's see what this is. Looks like it's another mixing attachment. If I had to guess, I'm gonna assume this is for like dough and like bread dough and stuff like that. And here's the actual unit itself. And this thing is heavy as hell. Let me try to get this out of here. All right, let's go ahead and Get through this plastic. Come on, come on. Bear with me, guys. All right. Again, this thing is heavy. All right, so here's one thing I got. I was like, yes, yeah, the mixing bowl. Pretty big, pretty weighty. Not too much damage. Uh, looks like it's a four and a half quart bowl. So should be big enough for most of my needs. And now for the unit itself. Get this last bit of wrapping off of it. Ugh, Jesus. All right, and here's the unit itself. Just the different uh, mixing settings, mixing modes. From zero, from stir up to 10. This little part is for attachments for like pasta making and stuff like that, I, I, I'm guessing. There's a little area for the bowl to fit in. Get this thing up to the other side. And this is the lock, unlock switch to be able to tilt the uh, unit itself. There we go, yeah. Put it back in lock. And then the power cord. And there's the attachment for the mixing attachments to connect to. And that's it. More videos of this to come as far as me actually making products. Take care.